So I wanted to hit a, a topic that I've been really mauling over lately. And why have I been mauling over this topic? Because when I was working out here a while back in the front room, I heard Josh Turner do a Vern Gosden hit. I can tell by the way you dance that you're gonna love me tonight. And anyway, when Vern Gosden did it, he did this little sexy grrr, and he had these driving forces of a guitar. Now, I know everybody does everything differently. I put this up on Facebook today um, where I wanted to know what's your stance on remakes? Like, don't mess with perfection. Once a song has been done, it's been done. Or, that was A. B, I like to hear different versions of the same song. It's called originality, meaning that the artist has made this song their own different from the first version and you like it or it depends on what artist and what song or it just doesn't matter it's music well being in the music field myself meaning I I feel like since I play music on the piano as well as the radio and dance to it I kind of have you know a little bit of lead way of going which way am I going to go with this um, I, I feel like there are some artists that you just don't remake unless you can do it spot on. Don't make it sound like a bluegrass tune if it's country. And I, I guess maybe I'm just too picky, but when Vern Gosden did it, that was one of my favorite songs that he did. Period. Um, now, it's different. Wichita Lineman has been done millions of different ways. Glenn Campbell, original, okay? To me, the version that I will always love is Wade Hayes because it's that smooth as honey voice and it's got that tone to it that brought that song a second life if you will so if i'm going to hear wichita lineman it better be wade hayes now some of you uh have heard the old song hello walls by farron young redone by david kirsch and i love both versions there i love farron's version but I also love David's version because it's more upbeat and you can dance to it a little faster than when Farron sang it. And to me, I don't know why, but that ver both versions stand on their own. And they're to two totally different versions that I both like. But in the case of Vern Gosden or Josh Turner, I was very disappointed because I thought, okay, he's going to have a little bit more rocking guitar. He's going to have that little girl in his voice like Vern did. He's got a little bit of that grr, but it's not exactly spot on. And it's just like a, a Conway Twitty song. If it was to be redone, j there's only a couple of people that could redo, um, three people that could redo Conway and do it right. One would be Jeff Bates. Right off the bat, I've got to give props to Jeff Bates. The second would be Chris Young. And the third, and definitely not the final, would be Scotty McCreary. And Conway had that deep voice, that voice that just grabbed you. And I didn't appreciate that until later on in life. And let me tell you something. If you have that kind of voice that can tug at the woman's heart like he did, you know, you've got it made in the shade. And that is country music to me. When you can do something like that, Speak just like you're talking to one person, not the whole entire, you know, audience and make that one person be like, oh, fan me, I'm going to faint. You know, I think Elvis had that too, you know, in his own way, you know, that he made the women feel like that he was just grabbing out to them, you know, and making them hear that he was talking directly to them, speaking directly to them. And I feel like that's what music and artists should do. They should speak to the listener. They should speak to the fan. And, you know, even like Kenny Rogers now. If you listen to him sing Lady, I don't care how much Lionel Richie tries to sing that song, and I don't care that he wrote that song. Kenny Rogers put his stamp on that song, and there's just, uh-uh, no, don't mess with perfection. So the, to me, there's some songs that you can redo and be like, okay, that's different than what I've heard before, and that's fine. Like the David Kirsch and Farron Young thing. But if with Vern Gosden, no. If you don't have that guitar, if you don't have that little gur in your voice that was just so sexy, then you don't have it. 
So I apologize, but I love you, Josh Turner, but there was just some songs that you can't redo. Now, there was this album back in the 90s called Tribute to Tradition, late Joe Diffie, and I can't get used to saying that. He did the late Charlie Rich song, no one knows what goes on behind closed doors. Oh, he did that wonderful. Now, that was almost like a copycat version of the original. And to me, that was a tribute to tradition. Um, the Tammy Wynette song, Till I Can Make It On My Own. Martina McBride smacked that one out of the ballpark and to me it was just like listening to the late Tammy Wynette when she sung. So there's some songs that does have that factor that you can redo and make them sound like your own but yet sound like a real tribute to tradition. So I just am interested in your take on that but that's my take. Now I'm really going. Love y'all.